guys so today I'm going to talk about homeschooling now for those of you who have seen my other homeschooling video that I did a few months back this is going to be another version of it or I guess like touching more on it maybe yeah I did that video but um there were still some points I left out or some points I didn't know yet or points I wanted to kind of clarify so um this is going to be more of a raw video about homeschooling so been keeping up on, on recently you know that I have a job now it's a part-time job I work at an after-school center um, in the in the afternoon for like four hours when public school kids get off of school and they get out of school elementary school so I've been working there I think it's been a month now it doesn't feel like it but time been flying I think it's been an actual month now so yeah I've been there, I've been enjoying it and everything. Now I'm going to talk about my experiences there as far as... Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to talk about my experience there as far as what I've seen with public school kids and their schoolwork. So I've done tons of research over the years about this Common Core thing, this whole curriculum that's you know, retaining our kids and whatnot. I've done lots of research, but I've never actually experienced it. Now I'm kind of experiencing it a little bit when I'm at work and I have to help the kids with their homework. And for the most part, I look after the five and six year olds, which is what, kindergarten and first grade. And, um, you know, I've, I've been helping them with their homework every day and I get to see what they're doing I get a glimpse into what Common Core is really about like the the, the core of the Common Core <laughs> you know what I mean because you know my kids are still homeschooled and I haven't actually seen this stuff with my own eyes and now that I'm starting to see it it's 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 more evident that I would like to continue homeschooling These kids, they, um, I see Common Core as very confusing. This curriculum confuses the hell out of kids, and I don't like it. I don't like the way they have their curriculum set up. As far as, like, the five-year-olds, sometimes they'll actually have what you consider kindergarten work. Like, they'll have a worksheet where it says, okay, trace this letter, write the letter, and then color the picture. Okay, that's kind of easy. That's pretty much there. It's pretty much, you know, easy for a kindergarten. But what they do in this curriculum is they kind of mix it up too much. And most of these kids' parents didn't work with them well enough before putting them in school, so most of them are behind. Um, some of the kindergartners don't really know their letters. They don't even know how to barely, they can barely write their letters. And I see it as confusing because what they do is they give them a worksheet like what I just mentioned and then they give them something totally else like okay they give them like sight words or you know like somewhat big sight words you know words that you would be reading in first or second grade and they tell you they tell the child you know the instructions would be to let's say circle which word fits in the sentence and I'm sitting there like okay you just had a worksheet talking about coloring and tracing but on the other worksheet, you have to fill in a sentence. How are you jumping from writing the letters as if you don't know how to read? And then you have another worksheet talking about you need to learn how to read this and fill it in. It's just, that's just one example I've seen. It's, it's crazy. I don't understand it at all. Secondly, the way their homework sheets are set up, I don't agree with that. They have a homework sheet to where it's listed Monday through Thursday, I think. But I don't think they have homework on Fridays. They don't give the children any homework. Fridays. So what they do is they have, you know, a regular sheet of paper and they have Monday through Thursday and they have each assignment written on what they need to do every day. I don't like the way they do that. It's just, it's confusing. It's confusing to me. And if I'm saying it's confusing, it's confusing. You know the child is confused if I'm confused. They have these random 
um, sporadic things to do. Like, okay, Monday they'll have something where it says, you know, write your spelling word in a sentence. And then under that, they'll write a problem. They'll write a math problem. Uh, 50 plus 13, write the answer here. Then underneath that, they'll be like, um, what country do you live in? You know, what state do you live in? Write it. And then under that, they might have a problem that says, you know, they might have something that says, um, circle the predicate of this sentence. And I'm sitting there like, predicate? What do first graders know about predicates? I don't remember learning no predicates in first grade. These kids are confused, and I, when I ask them what they need to do, some of them, they really don't know. And I really try to bring it out of them because, you know, some of them be lying and talking about, oh, I didn't learn that in school. And it's like, okay, you had to have learned in school for your teacher to be giving it to you. Or else the teachers are just as baffled as I am. Hey. Um, you had to have learned it. But, it's just confused. I just don't like the way they have it set up. This stuff is not very, it's not a good way of teaching in my opinion. And if you've really studied Common Core, you know the whole basis of this curriculum is to bring down the kids um, and confuse them. Like basically, degenerating our black kids more, confusing them more, making them want to drop out more, making things harder. And making things harder on purpose so these kids want to drop out and they'll fail out and not have a chance in life. That's just the honest truth. I don't care if you don't believe me. Do your own research. You don't have to agree with me, just do your own research and you'll see. Anyway, that's just, I, I'm talking about this because people still come to me and they're still telling me, you know, that I shouldn't be homeschooling or they don't agree with me homeschooling, which I don't really give a shit anyway, but they tell me anyway. People always tell me, oh, you need to put your children in school so they can, they can be social and whatnot. I know about the social part. I'm aware of that and I'm working on it. And my children do get some social time with their families and when they play with kids outside. They do get some kind of social time. It's not structured or anything, but okay, so what? Um, I really, really get sick and tired of some people's opinions about it. Now, like I said, because I've experienced this Common Core thing firsthand, it's making me want to homeschool even more. Like, like, seriously, like, keep it up. <laughs> And some people, they praise me for it, and others, they're just like, okay, your kids are going to be dumb. And I'm like, my kids are not going to be dumb. My kids are smarter than yours because they learn what they want to learn. And I can see their strengths and weaknesses. I don't have to worry about them going to five, six teachers trying to figure out, okay, what does my child know? What, you know, my child's playing in class, so they miss this lesson and all the crazy stuff. I don't have to worry about keeping up with a homework sheet that says, okay, on this page, you write your letters because you don't know how to write your letters. And on the next page, you have to circle nouns. Like, for real? I'm, I, I just don't understand. I, I, I am baffled. But some, some of these things these kids are learning is just so confusing. Like, they gotta write past tense and present tense. This one kid, he had a homework assignment. Um, I think we had to write, like, something about a word family. I'm like, what the hell? I, was, I, I didn't... All the teachers were confused. Even the older ladies at my job were confused on how to help him. And it was like, okay, is this supposed to be past tense? It didn't say past tense, but I, it was just poor child to know what to do. So it was like, okay, take this home to your mom, take this to your teacher, tell her that we didn't know what to do here, honestly. And it's sad, it's sad when the grown women can't help the children because this common core bullshit is hard, it's confusing. And I see how they are really working on black children not getting anywhere, not getting a proper education. Because you already know when you go to school, you're taught to conform, you're taught to obey, you're taught to learn what they want you to learn, and how they want you to learn, and when they want you to learn it. And that's what I don't agree with. I don't agree with that. It's crazy. Public schools nowadays are worse than they used to be. And I know because I've done research. And even I, I remember when I was in school, there were certain things I learned a certain way, and there were certain things I did not learn. And I don't agree. And like I said, I've been at this job for about a month now, and it's even more evident on why I chose to homeschool, because I'm a teacher at heart. And I can't be a teacher at heart and stand by and watch my four children fall into the cracks of doom because these people don't 
want, want them to really learn. The way these kids have their homework, it's not proper learning in my opinion. I, I don't like it. I don't agree with it. Every day I, I help these kids at my job do their homework and somewhere along the line I was getting confused. Oh, I'm like, why do they put that there? You know, I don't remember learning this. This seems to advance for them. Last week there was a first grader. She was doing her homework and she had a word search. She had a word search, but um, you would think, okay, six grades, um, six grades, six year olds can do word searches. Yeah, with small words, small words that they know. Tell me why she had a giant word search, a big, big square, you know, a lot of letters, and she had big words, big words as in like, um, I don't remember, something about, it was history related, so the words were kind of big, like, um, you know, uh, I don't remember, just pretty big words, big words that you wouldn't learn until like, second or third grade, you know, like, the words like amendment, and, um, Benjamin Franklin, stuff like that. And the poor child, she was so confused, she couldn't even do it. And I'm sitting there feeling for her, like, I understand. <laughs> I understand, but it's, it's sad. Common Core is not helping our children. It's dumbing them down. It's making them so confused. It's, it, it's just... I don't know how else to put it. I'm, I'm just really feeling sorry for today's kids. I am feeling so sorry for them and I wish I could do something but I cannot it's their parents decision to figure this out for them you know if their parents take the time to do some research if they really care about the children's well-being they will sacrifice something to put their child in a better school or school them themselves because I see why these children are frustrated they're acting out they are bad they're well, they're not really bad it's not their fault that they're acting out parents fault it's the system's fault and if parents don't wake up and realize that their kids are just doing for failure especially the, the, the kids that are already troublemakers on top of having this crazy type of score I can only imagine what they're doing in class if the homework looks like this I mean what the hell are they doing in class this shit was crazy I can't deal I'm not putting my kids through that I will figure some more some other way out to do their own um, social life they will have a social life because they already have a little bit of a social life you know, like I said it's not much but it will get there it will get there and that's my business yeah, it's me and my husband's business on whether we want to put them in school or not but the way it's looking it's not gonna happen at least not anytime soon hopefully hopefully we won't ever have to put them in public school because Again, Common Core, it's, it's bad. There's a lot of parents raving about Common Core. But the stupid thing about it is that more white people are raving about Common Core than black people are. And again, I'm sitting there like, okay, black people, wake the fuck up. Come on. It's targeted against us, most of all. Pay attention. It's, it's just pay attention to what your kids are learning. Really, really focus and try to keep your child afloat. If you can, if you can't help it, just, you know, do what you can. But I, for me, it's not for me. I don't agree with what these kids are doing. It's utter confusion. I have done research after research, and Common Core is known to cause confusion in these children. And I'm seeing it, and they're already five and six. I mean, they're only five and six years old, and they're already confused. They're confused on what to do. They're confused on, some of them don't even know how to read, and they're getting these big ass sentences in their work and it's like I'm supposed to figure this out they're learning nouns, verbs predicates, adjectives they're learning too much they're only 6 years old no 6 year old can handle all that it's just too much it's way too much on them and it's like I said it's really sad it's really really sad in my opinion it shouldn't even be done but you know you can't really stop the system Unless we all riot, but it's not going to happen at this point. But again, we as black people we need to start waking up and pay att paying attention to these things. Pay more attention to your child's education. And if you can, teach them more at home than they learn at school. Because if not, your child will not come out as educated as you would like them to. They're just going to be a pawn for the system. Like most people are already. So, um... 
um, that's what I'm going to say right now. We're friended enough. <laughs> so, just pay attention to what your kids are learning. Really, really look into this common core thing because it's not beneficial for us. It's meant to bring our children down, dumb us down, and potentially get us to drop out at a young age. Keep our minds confused. And, you know, everything has an agenda. Just remember that. Everything has an agenda. An agenda ain't always good. Yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video, and um, I hope everyone has a great day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Peace out. It's to start getting loose, and then when it does get loose, there's another hook on the inside to where you can make it a little tighter. I'm not quite there yet, but I'm getting there. I'm extremely happy with this waist trainer because